Next, we're going to take a look at active classes and how Vue.js Router applies these automatically to our links. If you look closely, we're currently on the home link and this has the slightly darker color. Click on the user. This darker color should now be applied to the user. And this happens for each one of our links. So this is useful if we wanted to adjust the styling for any one of our links and let the user know which route they're currently on. The way it does this, if we go into the developer tools with right click and inspect, keep in the elements tab and use the inspector to click on one of our links. Currently we are on the home route. And if we take a look at the class, we can see this is router link active and also a second class of router link exact active. This is not currently on any of the following links, but if we click on the user, these classes are now moved over to the user link. The same for accounts. This is our account link and they are no longer applied to the first two. But something different happens if we click on update profile. As with the previous links, update profile gets the two additional classes of router link active and also router link exact active. However, though, the difference is this account section also has this single class of router link active. The same happens if we click on previous orders. The previous orders link gets our two additional classes and also the account page has this single class added. So first of all, these classes are added automatically by the view router, and this can allow us to update the styling for the current page. But what's the difference between router link active and router link exact active? Well, the difference lies in this account page. If you've watched the previous videos, you'll know that the account page has both the update profile and the previous orders nested as child routes. So the account links us to forward slash account and the user ID. If we click on update profile, the same URL is in place, but with forward slash update at the end. And with previous orders, this is also added to the end. So what happens here is with the previous orders and update profile, this begins with forward slash account. So therefore, the forward slash account link just here is considered a partial match. And if any of our links are partial match, we get the class of router link active, since this technically is currently active. But as the name suggests with the other links, the class of router link exact active is only applied if there is an exact match with our URL. This is the current case for update profile. If we click on orders, this link here is an exact match for our URL. So this also gets the exact class and also the same for any other links. We click on the user and not only is this a partial match, but it's also an exact match. So we see both classes applied. And the reason these are styled the way they are is because by default, when we set up the view router inside of the app.view, it applies some styling to the bottom section. If we scroll down, we have our nav links, the A elements, and also a different color for the class of router link exact active. So this is how we can add styling to our active links, both for a full and also a partial match.